At 7 this morning, it happened. 15-year-old killed just feet from her home. Witnesses say the bus's safety lights were on and police tell us the driver of the SUV was not under the influence or distracted by her cell phone. But exactly how this could have happened is still being investigated. This is the kind of news nobody wants to hear. Young lives needlessly lost and other lives are forever changed. 80% of all deaths involving school buses occur when passengers are being picked up or dropped off. The creation of daylight savings time adds more hours of darkness during critical pickup times in the morning. Most passengers are boarding school buses in darkness for the majority of the school year. Adding to that danger are motorists who are distracted by cell phones, text messaging, fumbling with CD discs and radios, reading road maps or newspapers. Weather conditions such as snow, fog and rain only add to the danger factor for our children who get on and off a school bus twice a day. Are you aware that a waste removal vehicle loading trash has as many lights on it as a school bus loading passengers? Sad but true. The next time you observe a city or county utility vehicle, a police car or a fire truck, please take a minute to consider how the lighting systems have changed over the past 10 years. With the exception of high intensity LEDs, school bus lighting has not changed. Nationwide statistics indicate that it is time we do something about that. This is the Guardian Angel school bus lighting system. It consists of two red, high-intensity light-emitting diodes, strobe lights, which are mounted directly to the front hood of the school bus. These lights alone more than triple the viewing distance for oncoming traffic when the red lights are activated. The concept is much the same as the third brake light, which was created in the 1980s. That simple extra light reduced the rear-end collisions by one-third. Many distracted drivers look no higher than the roof line of their own car. These lights are in the same plane as the lights motorists are commonly used to looking at. A 1000 lumen, 6 bulb, high intensity light was installed on the front of a school bus. This 4 inch square light is wired in conjunction with the existing 8 way lighting system. It has three purposes. First, it illuminates the driver's view of the passenger walking from their point of safety until they board the bus. Second, it keeps the passenger 10 feet in front of the bus where they belong. Elementary school students are simply taught to walk in the beam of the light. The third purpose of this light is the most important. Traffic in front of the bus and behind the bus can clearly see the passengers getting on or off the bus. Please look at the dramatic difference between a standard bus and the bus equipped with the Guardian Angel illumination system and ask yourself, which one would you prefer your child or grandchild to get on? The choice is clear to see the Guardian Angel. The Guardian Angel Light System Kit consists of the three lights shown in the video, a wiring harness with terminals, hardware and installation instructions. Installation labor on most Type C buses is usually under 30 minutes. When placing an order for the light system, please specify which type of school bus you are installing it on, Type A, C, or D. The choice is clear to see. The Guardian Angel is the right choice because everyone should have a Guardian Angel in their life.